The Secret Origin of Impossible Decisions. Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. Why do we get into these situations where we have impossible decisions? Where they're just so tough, you just don't know which way to turn, you don't know which way to go with them. I found that it usually comes from a lack of commitment to a specific idea. And let me get into this. The reason I'm going to back engineer this a little bit, because there was a quote I came across, and it said, and I should have written it down, I have it, I have it on my phone that I happen to be recording with, so I'm, I'm trying to remember, let's see, it said, uh, when you know where you're going, every decision becomes easier. And that's very, very true. It's a very true point. If you really know where you're intending to go, then the decisions, they not only do they become easier, they become non-existent. <laughs> you don't have to decide. If you really know where you're going and you have a clear idea of where that is, then it's very clear, okay, this will get me there, this won't get me there. In most cases, that's how it is. That if you know where you're going, then the decisions they, they make up their own minds. <laughs> you know what road to take because there's a road that's going to get there quicker or, or more sure. And uh, it just happens automatically. It just, everything unfolds when you're very clear about where you're going. Now, sometimes in life, you don't know where you're going. But if you're a business owner or an executive and you're running a company, you do have to have some sense of direction. If you don't, your company uh, will run chaotically and will eventually have long-term issues. Now that can uh, that can last a long term, a long time in the short run, <clears throat> like when you first start and everything else. Uh, you really don't know where you're going, and you really oftentimes don't have any idea of how you're going to get there or anything else. So that's okay. But in the long run, it needs to have some direction. You need to know where you're going. But I find I'll get into conversations with business owners that are stuck. They're just stuck. They just don't know which decision's the right thing. Do I do this or do I do this? And they're two dynamically different options. And the reason why they don't know which one to go with is because they don't really know where they're going. They don't know where they want to end up. And so really, if you don't know where you're going, the opposite is true that not only do the decisions are the decisions not easy to make, uh, they're impossible to make. It's impossible to know because it, it's that old that old line from uh, Alice in Wonderland. I don't remember it exactly, but she she's she's saying which way do I go to the Cheshire Cat, I believe. And he says, well, where do you where do you want to end up? And she says, I don't know. Well, then, then it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter which way you go because you know, you'll end up there anyways. And that's really how it was, how it is. And when I was younger, I did not get that point. I, I really kind of ran through life as uh, easygoing as possible and, and really trying not to commit to any one direction. And, but eventually you do have to have an idea of where you're going. You do have to have an idea. It doesn't mean you're going to get there. I mean, honestly, it doesn't mean that you're going to get there. But you have to have some type of direction, if for no other reason, to make decisions easier. To just make things simple. That that type of focus we were talking a little bit about last night, I believe. That type of focus helps move things along. It doesn't mean that's your final destination at all. It doesn't mean that you're even going to reach that destination, but it helps propel things forward and makes the decisions just take care of themselves. Simple idea, real simple concept. Very, very, very few uh, business owners that I run into realize that they're stuck in impossible decision making because they just don't have an idea of where they want to be. If you don't have any idea of where you want to be, why are you in business? Business has to have some form of purpose behind it. You have to have some idea, some idea of purpose. Because once you do, then all the extra stuff that doesn't apply to that purpose, you can let it all go. And you just float down the highway in, in, in your own way. So 
Hopefully that makes sense. If you, you like more tips to be able to help direct you in the ways that you want to go, especially if you found obstacles such as competition getting in your way, uh, check out my book, Nine Ways to Amazon Proof Your Business. You could get your own free copy at amazonproofbook.com or you could buy it wherever books are sold, amazon.com, barnesandnoble.com, all the different places, iTunes, it's available on iTunes. Go, go on there, go get yourself an electronic copy or get a free one off my website amazonproofbook.com. We'll be back here tomorrow. In the meantime, you get out there and let the magic happen.